Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Remix on them hoes. Listen, this is going to be a real informal blunt talk, but ain't that what we're going to talk all about? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> boy, did you want some water? We at the dog park. As usual, because I love nature and it gives Choco the time to be in a good little area where he can play, make a little friends. You know what I mean? Isn't that what a dog park is about? When you take your kids to the park, you expect your kids to play at the what? The motherfucking park. Now, what I'm trying to figure out about humans is the majority of them are precaution. Okay. And I'm not I'm not trying to bring up race, but I'm I'm trying to bring up is cultural things and, and how our different cultures we all, you know act like we the shit act like we know act like we the top we the cream of the crop right but we live in fear consistently you living in fear so (laughs) point of this is oh here we come here we come here we come let's choco um me and choco we we go to different dog parks we've been to different dog parks in different cities and you know, now even a different state now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He did it. Want to do it? Amen. Okay. <laughs> but I've come to realize a lot of the times I'll be at the dog parks and Choco is little. He's a Maltese terrier. You know what I mean? Like black people run from him like he's a pit bull. Fear. Okay. They'll be like, get your Rottweiler, nigga. No. Uneducated. Pause. Listen. But <laughs> but I've realized when it comes to dog parks. The cultural thing here is to live in fear of, oh, my dog might attack your dog or my dog might do this or my dog might do that. Instead of just letting nature be nature. Like, baby, I got my animal. He know how to outrun about. No, it ain't about he can outrun every dog that I've seen him try to play with and the dog try to snap at him or do something. Me and him, we you know what I mean? Like we it, they, people say, you know, you become your dog or your dog becomes you in a sense of the matter. We will get out of a situation real quick. Don't play us. Real quick, baby. Real dick, dodge, ooh, I, we're gone. So if I'm not fearful when your child or your dog is doing something and I'm acting calm because that's what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to allow them to be in nature and be one with nature and all this other stuff. But I've noticed that the cautions do not want to allow my doggy to be in nature and to do that. Now, I'm seeing more Caucasians pull, they just came and I'm so I'm be honest with y'all because this is blunt talk and that's what I do and I'm calm cool and collected because I feel no umph about it but the lady would not let her dog off the leash I had another man the other day trying to explain to me that oh no he has to stay on the leash he has to stay on the leash I said my dog is friendly he's not going to do anything and if your dog tries to do something he my dog will run to me and let me know basically that daddy this is a problem and we will handle it from there. But she would not let her dog off the leash the entire time that my dog was in there with her dog. And her dog kept trying to bite at him. And as most dog people, educated dog people, I'm sorry, no. You don't have your dog on a leash, holding it real tight, pulling the leash, doing this, doing that. Because that's telling the dog that something's wrong. Something, I'm scared. I'm fearful. So then the dog goes into protective mode. It's not trying to attack because it thinks that, oh, the other dog is not friendly. The other dog don't even see fucking color. But we as humans want to sit here and pull on a leash and do this tension and do this and do that. Instead of going with the flow and letting nature be nature. I'm standing right there. Now I see all these other Caucasians have pulled up with their dogs. And I'm going to keep being bluntly honest. And if I offend anyone, like Eddie Griffin said, I had to learn that lesson last night. If I offend anyone, baby, I'm talking about racist people. I'm talking about people that go out of their way to judge not only an animal, but judging the animal's owner. To sit there and and, and do all that, but then when all these other people that do not look like me, and baby, you don't even know me, okay? Because I'm going to let my dog back over there and it's going to run your dog ragged. Why? Because it's nature. My dog does not need to be segregated. The only reason why I brought him to the, the, the big dog side was because she was sitting there for so long holding her dog, doing all that, and nobody else was here. That's why I do not go and talk to them either. And people try to say, oh, well, black people are racist. No, baby. We are discriminatory against bullshit. We do not handle bullshit well. Same way I guess y'all don't handle our color of our skin well. I don't know. 
but I don't handle bullshit well and I don't handle when my child is being feeling some type of way and people want to say oh well it's a dog and this and that and other no baby that's my child that's my kid he's slow like a kid he do stuff like a kid he'll dirty stuff up like a kid I'm not saying he's a human but still it's a part of me and you disrespecting him is disrespecting me and we don't tolerate bullshit well so of course I, I went ahead and moved my child from over there and now I'm about to put him back over there and let him go ahead and run them racket because not only do you not own the dog park baby you don't own me you don't own him none of that but nothing in the world should have to feel that. Oh, you are, oh, oh, even when you're friendly. I'm a very friendly person, but I feel all the tension, the pulling that these humans want to do. And you don't even know me. Don't even know my name, baby. I got people trying to tell me they're my friend and don't even know my name. Hmm. If we don't get our shit together and start living our best life and let other things live their best life and stop judging. Stop judging. Stop with the extras. Stop with the bullshit. Because you don't own anything. Even if you do own something, there's somebody above you that owns you in a sense of the matter because you are paying them somehow, some way. The only thing that I'm, not, only thing that owns me, and I'm so glad to say it, that I do not have to really pay back anything. Like oh, if a loan or something like that, I'm grateful to give back is my almighty father my almighty father thank you he up there he seen me amen thank you jesus and he glad that i went ahead and didn't have a little tantrum and all that stuff because that's what people be wanting but you're not going to get it same way i don't tolerate bullshit from someone else i'm not going to tolerate bullshit from myself either i'm going to hold myself to some standards like i'm trying to hold these people to some standards since they don't even know what the word standard means Stagnant, maybe. Standard, no. Let's get our shit together, world. And I'm about to go let Choco go ahead and go run these people ragged and call it a day. <laughs> Once again, beautiful day. Birds don't got a mask on. Love it. Clouds, trees blowing. Love it. Look at the clouds. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Because nothing can bring you down. Nothing can stop you. Nothing. You are your biggest enemy. I'm my biggest enemy. Everybody's their biggest enemy. And once you realize that, and you realize God is on your side, you have a bigger purpose. You got the cosmos on your side. You got angels on your side. You got ancestors on your side, baby. You don't even need a gang. Because you done gang ganged up and leveled up. You could care less about the ignorance of others. Now, I will speak up on it. But it ain't going to stop me from sleeping good. Knock, knock. <laughs> this has been another blunt talk with Shane Alexander. I love, love, love y'all. So I'm not to be as ratchet on this one. You gotta be more, a little bit more professional I'm trying to be in that other light. But I just love watching humans in their whole situation. And then will, humans will really mess it up for nature. Nature knows what it's doing. The trees know how to grow. The sun knows how to shine. But humans will go out of their way to try to, let me change this and do that, maybe live your best life and let nature do what it's doing please make sure to subscribe go ahead and share this because others need to hear this and like i said it really is not about race because as i've been to other different places everybody has fear everybody has different little things that they try to culturally live by but if it is based in fear let it go it's stupid it's never going to prevail you're always going to get into some trouble some bullshit and it may not be me but it'll be the next person that feels some type of way that lets you know you ain't shit all right catch y'all later we about to go over here and run it run it run it run it and eat, 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 eat. blunt talk with shane alexander